Welcome back. Take a deep breath. Time for some more feel good in your midday edition. You can see how excited I am because I've been taken back to that moment. Who can forget that incredible moment of elation when Sia Khaleesi lifted the Webb Ellis Cup as the Springboks won the Rugby World Cup for the third time in history last year. Feels like a lifetime ago now. The 2019 Rugby World Cup win united the nation and inspired millions of people through the country. And if I think around the world and the second chance trust has collaborated with fine artist Chaz Williams to create a masterpiece of this iconic moment that you could stand a chance of winning and joining us this morning to chat about the trust and this famous springbok painting that looks absolutely gorgeous please welcome founder of second chance Jared Smith world champion hip-hop dancer and sexy man Blake Williams <laughs> and artist Chaz Williams gentlemen welcome to it bit of a scene yeah. Stealer. I gotta say, guys, a bit of a scene stealer as yeah, well. Definitely, Thanks. 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 definitely Thanks. Appreciate absolutely it. beautiful. Maybe Jared, I'm gonna start with you. For those who don't know what the Second Chance Trust is all about, what do you guys do and, and what motivated you to, to take this leap? I think what motivated us to take this leap comes from my own story. It's my own story of drugs and being lost with no hope and coming out of that and realizing there's so many other kids that are stuck in the same situation with no platform, no opportunity to be inspired or equipped to reach greater heights or reach their dreams. So that's where Second Chance was formed. We wanted to give kids a second chance to reach their dreams, become successful and, and live out those, those things that they dream about in their room. Uh, so we designed different programs where we go out into schools and equip them because we must understand that if kids aren't equipped and empowered, the education means nothing. They're not going to be focused. Yeah. They're not going to be present. Mm. So we give them a healthy mindset to embrace the education so that they can reach the greatest version of themselves. Get those tools and hopefully preempt before they... Yes, prevent. Yeah, that's big, our big, big, big passion happen, of yeah. ours, to prevent them from going down that road. Um, I think so many people can relate in one way or another. Yeah. I think we all live on a, a spectrum of failures True, yeah. and yeah. trying to recover from those. Yeah. What brought you... Mr. Hip Hop Dancer, Mr. Sexy Man, to, to throw your weight behind Second Chance. I think myself and Jared met in 2011, and that's how it all started. We did the first hip hop youth flash mob in yeah. South Africa. And when Jared came to see what we did performing in fashion shows and at the schools and so on, he saw the power that dance has to excite people, to yeah. motivate them, to inspire them. And it worked perfectly with what he was doing. So he said, come and join me, come and see what I do. And I sat in the back of the hall that day and I watched him, I watched him do his thing. And the number of times I could relate to his story and how it reflected my own life and what I was going through. That's what sparked it in me to say, look, I want to be a part of this journey. I'd like for him to be my mentor. And he also gave me a platform to share with the dancing, to share my story, becoming the world champion, inspire the youth. Just came to dance, man. I yeah, just man. Came to dance. Yeah, man. Came to uh, dance, but it became so much more. Yeah, 100%. Uh, you've, you've taught me how to dance, which is saying a lot, but, um, <laughs> but I, I've been a part of that. That experience, what you're able to do, because you, you cut out all the clutter and, yeah. and you can really speak to a person on a very deep level. You've been connecting with schools now during this unprecedented year. And you know, I laugh about the, the World Cup being like a year ago, and it's almost exactly a year ago yeah, now. True. But hasn't it been a lifetime sure. in between that? What's the, the vibe been like at the schools? How are young people coping with this year? So obviously, we weren't able to go into the schools until August. Uh, so what we did is uh, every week, uh, I think twice or three times a week, we came up with a theme, we went on Instagram Live, we connected myself and Blake or other team members, and we, we actually made posters, we got kids to engage. And that's how we got to equip them during this pandemic. And, and a lot of the comments that came through really needed this today. This really helped me get through the day. This empowered me. I'm hopeful for my future. So we got to feed people's futures based on the Instagram lives during COVID because a lot of kids were struggling with anxiety. They were struggling with exams mm. coming up. How were they going to cope? What's their future looks What's like? Next? Mm. Yeah. Disappointment. They yeah. lost their first team rugby year their metric dance, they were struggling with disappointment. And we know a lot of kids that tried to take their own lives because of the disappointment. Mm. We've got to walk, walk a journey with them. Yeah. And now they're in a better mindset and they're ready for their futures. 
So many of us have been inspired. I, mean, I love Sia to bits and I, this team, I think we were all so emotionally invested in yeah. their journey. Yeah. Chaz, how do you then capture that moment Talk us through creating yeah. this, this beautiful piece. Well, I think, you know, what made it uh, uh, so personal for me is um, it was uh, on my bachelor's night. <laughs> I was in Hong Kong, you know, with the boys. Wow. Um, and uh, I think I really felt it, you know. I wasn't in Japan, but I felt that, the, the, the gears, you know. And um, obviously, I'm a, I'm a Waimuk boy. You know, we came up playing rugby. Uh, we all love Sia, you know. Mm. And um, yeah, I think it, it took about three, four months. And um, there's a lot of self-doubt, you know. <laughs> a lot of pressure want, from me. I didn't <laughs> want people to be, yeah. You didn't want to make it a bit smaller. Like, <laughs> just as yeah, a starting well, point. <laughs> I must say, I wasn't given much of a choice by, by, by these guys. When I signed on, I didn't expect it would be like a two meter long piece. But um, yeah, no, it's, it, was, it took me about three months and um, I, I worked at it. I didn't want it to be, people to be like, you know, is that, is that beast uh, <laughs> holding the cup, you know? So yeah, I put a, a lot into it. Um, and I'm, I'm, I, I've sort of cut my teeth on being an abstract artist, so I had to kind of reel it in and get it, get it quite tight. And um, but yeah, I'm very proud of it, and, I, and I'm it's proud of this, of this, of this journey. Did you have to go and watch the moment over and over and over? Look, I didn't have to, <laughs> but I did. Um, um, uh, uh, Colby's uh, uh, try at the end is, is, is what I'm still watching. But yeah, I think he became amazing. my favorite player in the world. So, yeah. yeah. Um, we're we're going to get into how you can get your hands on this incredible piece of art. And I might just get a little bit of a, a painting lesson in the mix there as well. But make sure you head to the Second Chance Trust website right now for more information on this incredible work of art and what they do at the Trust, I think, most importantly, and how you can stand a chance of winning this moment in history, the iconic piece of history featuring Sia, our brother, in probably one of the greatest moments of modern South African history.